everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning how to solve indeterminate limits using a trig identity. So the trig identity that we're going to be talking about today is the limit as theta approaches zero, a sine of theta over theta is equal to one. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the limit as x approaches zero of the function five times sine of x over x, and we see here that if we're going to plug in this value for a, in for x in our function here f of x, we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. And so we can see here that this is pretty close to what we have here, but we just have this 5 here. So what we can do is we can bring this 5 out using our limit law. And so we could rewrite this as follows. So we have 5 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x. And so by this identity here, this is just equal to 1. And so we have here 5 times 1, which is equal to 5. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over x. And so the first thing that we always do when we're solving a limit problem algebraically is we plug in this value for a into our function f of x. So when we do that, we see that we get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. And so in this case here, we want to use this trig identity here to solve this limit. So we see that theta in this case is 3x. And so in the denominator, we have an x rather than the 3x. And so what we're going to want to do here is we want to get this denominator to equal this angle here. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to multiply by 3 over 3. And so this becomes the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over 3x times 3. And now we're going to use one of our limit laws to bring this constant term out in front. And so we have 3 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over 3x. And we can see here from our identity that this is equal to 1. And so we have 3 times 1, which is equal to and so that is how you solve indeterminate limits using a trig identity. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.